welcome to Behind the Scenes of the Rainbow Challenge. I wanted to show you exactly how we made the Family Council set, because it actually took so much work, it's ridiculous. If you want to follow me, our big awesome wooden totem poles were a big controversy for us, because Rainbow and GLBT is our theme. We didn't want to get it mixed with Native American, so we originally designed some of these totem poles to be more uh, Native looking, but we decided that that was too many different demographics we were pulling into one. So these are our big rainbow totem poles. We kept it pretty simple. Um, these are actually made of cardboard. These are actually big tubes that we got from a carpet company. And uh, the smaller tubes here are carpet rolls. We had to saw them in half. I saw them myself with our uh, set designer and builder, Brad Starr. Uh, actually, it was really hard to do. We used mud from the ground right below to help decorate those. The tree stumps were given, us to, uh, given to us by the site. Um, where we're filming, which is out in the middle of nowhere in Ohio, uh, here in the U.S. Um, they chopped down a couple trees months and months ago when I came here for a second site visit, and I told them to save these stumps so that we could use them. That way we didn't have to haul them here because they are so heavy, it's ridiculous. The fire pit, there was, I think, four of us on the production crew, including myself, that had to climb in a muddy river, and we had to pull all these rocks out. So these rocks are very real, and the dirt on them is very real, and we were covered in mud after that one. We got this really cool tiki flooring, really, really cheap. It was like 11 bucks for this whole thing. We just want to add a little ambiance, a little bit more style there. <laughs> Sometimes when we're not filming council, it gets a little cluttered. Um, down here, well, we're firewood because we have uh, three family councils left. We're almost at the end shooting right now. Um, all the finalists are in their camp right now, still playing the game. The tiki torches were bought super cheap because our budget is like this big, um, but I actually hand decorated these myself. We spray painted them black, added some glitter for some shine at night. We wrapped on some different rainbow colored fabric. We have red, we have yellow. They have name plates that have their names on them. For example, this one is D'Angelo's um, and rainbow colored feathers. These come into play later on in the Rainbow Challenge. Um, we have some little motive holders just to add some more flame, some more light, some more style to the set. And of course, the voting area, which is crucial in any reality show. You have to have the voting area. This box came to us completely plain. It was really light wood. Um, our set designer painted it, beat it up, roughed it up. We wanted it to look tough like it had been through a war. Um, this is where we keep all of our voting paper. The markers are simply Sharpie markers that we draped in fabric and uh, kind of decorated ourselves. They ended up looking really great. And uh, the crates are pretty cheap as well. We just did everything we could to decorate those and make them look a little more roughed up. The jury area, um, our, our set builder kind of doused in some red light, some faded light to look like they're sitting back here on the outskirts of the fire. Um, there's a lot of tension on these stumps at night at our family councils, so a lot of drama over here. Um, this is my nightstand from my bedroom. We draped it with some twine to make it look a little bit more rustic, and we beat the crap out of it too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it much after this. The legs are covered in mud, and uh, this stump we actually found here in the cabin that I'm staying in on the site. So that's a quick tour of our family council set. You can kind of see some of the production crew in the back. There's our camera crane, which took a whole lot of work to build. And um, there's Brad Star wave. That's our set builder, Brad Star, back there uh, next to our flags, which were made by one of our production crew. They end up looking fantastic. And they're all covered in mud after the first challenge. So I hope you have enjoyed our quick tour of family council, and I hope you enjoy our first season of the Rainbow Challenge.